crowding is expected this year as Bahamians here in the capital prepare for the Boxing and New Year's Day Junkanoo Parades this year. The first time Junkanoo groups will grace Bay Street for these parades since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. I had a conversation with the commissioner and uh, we have strengthened the security awareness of, of manpower that will be on Bay Street, which will be a combination of police and defense force officers that will ensure that the safety of all those individuals uh, will be kept who decide to come on Bay Street. Youth Sports and Culture Minister Mario Boleg adds that he anticipates that seating will be a problem because parade tickets are completely sold out. And I want people to stop calling me. I don't have no tickets. <laughs> I really don't have no more tickets. Um, we are not responsible for the sales of tickets. JCNP is responsible for the sales of those tickets. Uh, with partnership with Alive, and I've spoken to both of them, and all of the seats are gone. So if persons intend to come out on Bay Street without a ticket, then they intend they should look forward to standing around, mm -hmm. as we all did in our earlier days when we used to go to Junkin, when we couldn't afford tickets in years in high school, right? So, but it's going to be much more larger crowd than we would have seen over the years on Bay Street, and it's expected. And with the weather expected to be less than desirable this weekend, cultural officer at the ministry, Ellery DeVoe, says they're monitoring conditions, but the Junkanoo Corporation of New Providence will make the final decision. We, I think we have a 10-day a ten day, um, weather forecast, so, so they, are mon they are watching that now. So, and we, we do see weather this weekend, so, but however, they will make that call. We reached out to Met Office Director Jeffrey Simmons, who echoes Mr. DeVoe's comments and adds that all stakeholders will meet tomorrow and on Sunday to make a final decision on the parade. So until then, we can only keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. Leah Cooper, Eyewitness News.